Hello YouTube, what's up? Strupial here and a few weeks ago I decided to get that King title finally. So inscribing my main heroes was not enough, it wasn't giving me enough might, so I had to inscribe my duplicated heroes, you know, getting them to offer 30 level inscriptions was not that hard, but it took a lot of time raiding mana. But end of the end, finally I got the king title and yes, now I'm getting 100 gems, I'm getting a lot of shirts, it's 120 shirts, I'm getting some honor patches but that doesn't mean it. Now, in the new update we'll be getting 3 new might titles and yes, the might difference will be very very big. Is it really worth getting those titles? I will try to answer at the end, summing up everything. So for your first title you need 120,000 might, that's crazy, but a lot of players already qualify for that. What's the funny thing? For the first, second and third title, new titles, you won't be getting more gems, that's just hilarious. You'll be getting just few thousand more honor badges, just not that many more shirts, like 20 more each title, <laughs> and that is very funny. The difference is each consecutive title you'll be getting just 5% more bonus for arena. Are you kidding me? That's why I decided to stay at the king title and I wasn't increasing my might like a crazy guy. I am not Zach Selby. I stayed at 80,000 might and I'm happy that I did such a decision and I strongly advise you do not increase your might after king title. You'll be getting only disadvantages like you'll be having harder opponents in battle altars in Lost Realm. The only good thing about that is that you'll be getting more merits. But with a king title, I think that we are getting many enough merits, and that's enough for today. Thanks for watching. Write in comments if you want to increase your might or stay at the king, and what do you think of the new titles? See ya soon!